Good morning guys, Joy here on Vampire Mode. I am up at 3 a.m. in the morning. These days I am pretty much up in the night time, uh, sleeping and napping like a vampire in my coffin or rather in my room during the daytime because I do not like the hot and humid weather that we have been experiencing lately in Bangladesh. Very hot. It's pointing like melting point. You go towards the melting point. So today I decided to do one of the two samples that I recently got from the house of MFK, Mason Francis Kirkshawn. And uh, one of them was Bakrat Rouge X-ray Day Perfume, the pure perfume version. But yeah, that one. But today we'll be looking at Grand Soir, okay? This is God. This is like, uh, you know, you go for a prayer and this is the like answer to your prayer, something like that. This is so good. This is so magical. Full bottle worthy, right here, I'm telling you. Definitely, if you really want to get three bottles from MFK House, this would be definitely one of them. Other ones would be Baccarat Rouge, either EDP or x ray Perfum, or you can go for the, the second option, I would say is Wood Satin Mood. I love those two perfumes, and this is the third love from this house for me. I have so far uh, sampled six, and at this point, uh, of course, you don't see a full bottle because I can buy those bottles. But since I do a little bit of decanting and stuff, so I have page running for those. I cannot actually get the stuff that I really like, you know, because most of the time I get perfumes and fragrances. I need to review. I buy them new releases and stuff. And mostly that decant page for that requirement. OK, but these are some perfumes I would buy for myself. I don't even care if I'm going to decant or not. I just love them. Pure quality water genuinely beautiful person okay if you guys know Lamal that's where he started yeah, his legacy started a lot of other perfumes that he made I think a lot of designer perfumes then he decided to open his own store as own uh, niche perfumes stunning perfumes you cannot pinpoint like oh this is like top base is this like top notes are this that the quality of each perfume is so well done okay so these are some praises I'm saying about this house uh, so far there once i tried some of them didn't work for me like cashmere wood like wood cashmere mood or uh, like let's say the silk mode was okay you know not my most favorite but uh, baccarat rouge and uh, wood satin mode so far the two of my favorites so this fragrance i purchased it from usb the samples official sample like this they come in uh, two ml samples and every five months or so they actually release these samples they do not uh, let the samples flow like so easily in the market. I think there must be a reason for it. So I got it from USB page. If run by, thank you so much once again for wonderful samples. You can purchase this on from the page USB UK shopping from Bangladesh, and you have to really um, book before because this the moment they arrive, they sell like hotcakes, right? People would love to get a taste of MFK fragrances. So yes, I heard a lot of good things about this perfume. And this is for men and women both. I think the ideal wear to ideal weather to wear it would be colder months. Okay, these are good for let's say even transition from hotter to cooler weather. You can wear it spring or you know like let's say fall. You can wear it at that time, and both men and women can rock this equally. So I love the note of amber, and this is one of the fragrances that is highly appreciated because of the note of amber. Okay, it has a beautiful amber note that makes it popular. I'll let you know what I think of it. Uh, let me tell you the story. I couldn't wait any longer. I went through some tough times, you know, like, but I still went to collect the samples because I needed to sniff them, okay? And the first time I sprayed this on my hand, I fell in love. It's like you see like a lady, <laughs> most beautiful lady in the world. You just, She just looks at you and you get whiffs of her hair. You instantly fall in love. This is what happened with this perfume. And I made my cover photo of my fragrance group of Grand Soir. So let's look at it. This is made in France. This EDP concentration, 2ml sample, and uh, the information on the back you'll find. I don't want to read out everything. And the bottle will look like this. And they come in standard 70 and 200ml bottle sizes or 180ml. I'm not sure. But they have a big bottle size and small bottle size. And the sample, you can see it's right in the middle. I haven't applied it. The juice color is kind of like ambery, uh, sweet tobacco kind, like very nice looking juice. And then they describe the perfume here. So this fragrance, what are the notes? The notes in this, I, as far as I remember from Fragrantica, are uh, labdanum, vanilla, amber, tonka bean, vanilla, and uh, one other note. Wait, what was it? Um, 
benzoin yeah the sweetness comes from benzoin so this fragrance has been reviewed to death by major reviewers i'm just letting you know my two cents i'm a newbie in niche world uh, i have uh, gone through some but my most experience is always with designer so when i sniff something really good from niche world it really cheers me up this is not a full bottle but the amount of joy i get from this that amount of me i get from this it's priceless okay I can just remove, I can move the sample like this. I can actually get whiffs of the perfume because I sprayed it yesterday. So yeah, let me tell you about this perfume. This is magical juice. Full bottle worthy, yes. Go and buy this bottle if you can afford it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, so this fragrance, I think it's a scent strength on this first of all before I spray it. One of the brothers in Bangladesh said it's very weak on him. He doesn't get performance. I think it's mostly uh, like, you know, either... Uh, your system is so used to getting like you know like the the senses you know it would be like so f that the olfactory olfactory fatigue yeah <laughs> that the that because of that maybe perhaps you can smell it but this fragrance lasts on me beast mode eight to ten hours easily in bangladesh condition and this fragrance works in a magical way and i'll tell you so let's spray this uh sense string is very good so i go just one spray okay these prayers from the small samples are also huge amazing quality in everything they produce so let the cell down i can already smell it one of those perfumes that you don't really have to like dig your nose on your hand or palm you can actually f the fragrance comes to you so that's the first quality of this fragrance. it comes to you beautiful beautiful opening guys you know uh, what i really get from it is uh, it reminds me of some fragrances that i'm used to and first thing i don't know it's funny to say but salvatore ferragamo uh, vumo you know i don't know why and i'm just being honest here I could be totally wrong. You can crucify me for that, no problem. But this is the fragrance I got. I don't know if this has amber or tonk or vanilla, whatever is in it. This fragrance, Grand Soir, first thing I thought of is this fragrance, okay? Second fragrance that I thought of is this one. Beautiful fragrance, Amber Blend, okay? Of course, these two fragrances are not near the quality of the Grand Soir, but I guess the amber note in this, this is beautiful amber fragrance, okay, it lasts a long time, also unisex, and this on the tonka bean and the, probably the gourmand side or something sweetness or the vanilla, I guess those are the reasons. So if you wanted some comparison, those two. And the last stage, very last stage, I got Bentley for Man Intense, not for the juice color, for the dry down of it, not as much as the leather perhaps, maybe the amber, maybe the tonka, maybe something in it, okay, that reminded me of the grand soir so those are the three comparison i could think of from top of my head but apart from that opening i get a beautiful sweet opening it's like so delicious it's like uh, also think of christmas time you know you think of like cinnamon sticks and stuff this one doesn't have cinnamon but i pick up that cinnamony feel you know like it smells like christmas i don't celebrate christmas but you know like uh, mine is eid but I love the time of Christmas. So this one smells like Christmas. It's like the gifts, you know, if you think of that, you know, Christmas tree, it's a, such a beautiful fragrance. You think of like a turkey being cooked, you know, yeah, pouring some wine and stuff. I'm just giving you my, what I imagine when I sniff this. This smells just stunning, you know, it's just stunner. It's so beautiful, so smooth. It's like a royal. You can smell the quality in it and you can tell right away, this is not a cheap fragrance, okay? And I'm not talking about the price tag, tag, I'm talking about the quality of it, right? So this is an expensive, uh, special occasion. I think you should reserve for it. You shouldn't wear it casually, even for the small sample. You should wear it, let's say, going for something special, dinner with your sweetheart. You think of going to meet, uh, create an impression, uh, meeting some nice party, you know, like for business purpose or something, wearing suit, go two sprays from the bottle, boom, boom. Even for the small sample, wear one here on the neck, one on your chest or maybe one up on your arm moment people sniff this on you this fragrance they will look at you differently that's all i can tell you uh, why am i saying this is a full bottle worthy because it is it's that good so i can smell that amber it's a fantasy note but the amber mixes with that vanilla makes it very addictive very very addictive when i smell like baccarat rouge the effect i have this fragrance gives that same effect but here is the magical part people who say this is uh, not a long-lasting beast mode. I can perhaps say it like wood satin mode lasts maybe two, three, four hours more than this. Okay, no problem. But this is not a weak fragrance. This one projects like Isui Super base fragrance. I think this one has highly Isui Super concentration in this because moment I put my hand away, 
some air hits me, I can sniff it after four, five, six, seven hour mark. This is what this one does. It comes back, it's there. You might think like it's not as heavy as wood, but it's there. Okay, so the quality, longevity projection through the roofs. Perhaps I'll give it like nine out of 10. I would give Baccarat Rouge and Wood Satin Mood 10. I'll give this nine. Longevity is pretty good. You can wear this in a rainy night when it's you can hear the rainfall, you can smell the art, the art tea uh, smell is coming out. This one will complement it perfectly. Sit there, have a glass of cognac, like a scotch or something. Enjoy this perfume. I'm giving you the idea. Who can wear it? I think by profession doctors who are like brain surgeons, you know, like specialized doctors. They are like, you know, they are in their field for a number of years and they're very uh, high profile doctors, lawyers, uh, teachers, perhaps too sexy for a teacher, but you can rock it. No problem. Uh, I would wear this on a romantic date, romantic setup. Very romantic fragrance, guys. Very beautiful, sweet. That benzoin sweetness. Yes, that's where I think the benzoin is also used in leather blend in the Davidoff line. I think the benzoin makes it very sweet. I think also, mainly for many intents, that's where the benzoin sweetness reminds me of. This, these two fragrances are kind of like in my head, something similar in them, right? So if you do love the note of amber and the vanilla, let me talk about the vanilla. I'm so disoriented because I'm in all gaga over this fragrance. Um, the vanilla in this, it's like, you know, if you think of something sexy, like something high class, like you smell this on a woman on her neck somewhere here, immediately you'll be drawn towards her. So that's the sort of, like vanilla is used in design fragrances like Pure Excess. I love this very sexy, boozy vanilla. This one is ambery vanilla. So if you like those notes of vanilla, amber, the benzoin sweetness, and perhaps, you know, like little bit, I think I get a little bit of spices somewhere, like a cinnamon is like a, Christmasy sort of feel like you know you go to the shopping malls and you can smell those cookies around think very Christmasy as well right so overall this fragrance I'm not gonna judge it like this ranking wise longevity projection uniqueness this fragrance is a 10 as a 10 if you want me to tell you which three fragrances that you should buy uh, let me show you in the samples okay you should buy definitely one of these four First one I would say you should definitely buy from this if you can afford it is Baccarat Rouge EDP. This is very nice, full bottle worthy. And then Baccarat Rouge X-ray de Parfum. This is better. I'll talk about it in my next next video. And then Oud Satin Mood is a masterpiece for me. I love this fragrance. It's so sweet. It's so beautiful and fruity. And then now I'll add Grand Soir. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, guys. Okay. Um, the best part of part of my journey is experiencing something beautiful that really mesmerizes me not just oh, okay i compromise you know I, I talk about it and then get used to it there's nothing to get used to about this fragrance you just fall in love with it this is the kind of fragrance grand soir is and i think there's miss eve who commented on my page that she loved this fragrance and her husband loves it on her i think uh there is a morning version of this fragrance also sebastian zara talked about it i forgot the name but uh petit about petit something noir or something okay that is a morning version this one you wear it in the evening time okay so yeah miss eve is correct and those people who say this is a great fragrance are correct check out this fragrance grand soir by house of mfk stunning juice perfect 10 and a salute worthy take care guys tomorrow i will talk about my favorite new purchase dolce gabbana all intense light blue all intense for men edp i just got it Wore it as a scent of the night. Uh, if you're living in a summer's country, wait for my review. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.